Hello guys, welcome back to Robo. Hope you are doing well and staying safe. In this video, we are going to do a tutorial on the all new Raspberry Pi Pico W. So we'll be blinking an LED and then we'll be using its Wi-Fi to scan nearby hotspots and then we'll be doing a web server project on it. So for more info, stay tuned. So let's start with our tutorial video. Uh, our first program will be how to blink an LED. First, you need to download the Thony ID. If you have it already installed, it's good and fine. Now, what I need to do is I need to press the boot cell button here and plug in this USB. So, you'll see this appear on your screen, and this is basically the memory of Raspberry Pi Pico W. And you need to download the RP2 Pico W file. The link will be in the description for this file. You can download it from there. Do drag and drop here in the memory. And as you can see, I have copy pasted here and the dialog box closed. What I need to do is I'll stop this. I'll write my program here. That will be from machine import pen. Second line will be LED is equal to pin. Assign the value as LED, and I'll do this as pin dot out. So I've assigned the value. Let me see. Yeah, that's done. Now I'll put another command which will be LED dot toggle. So this is basically LED dot toggle essentially means that it will switch on this already off LED. I don't know if you can see this right now. So this means that if the LED is off, it will turn it on and if it is on, it will turn it off. So basically on and off. So I'll just show you right now. I'll put this command here in the C light and the LED is on. I'll do it again. The LED turned off again on off. So this is about the blinking LED program or maybe LED toggle program where we switched on the LED of Raspberry Pi Pico W. The next thing which we will be doing is we will be scanning all the Wi-Fi with the use of this Infineon Wi-Fi chip. So let's do that. So let's start with scanning the hotspots around. For that I need to do import network and I need to do WLAN and initialize this and I need to do network. WLAN and network dot STA F. Let's see if it works. Yeah, that works. Now I need to activate Wi Fi. So let's do it this way. LAN dot active. True. Actually, yeah, this is active. Okay. And then I need to print out all the active hotspots in my surroundings so you can see we have this 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 and basically a lot of hotspot surrounding me so that's about the wi-fi and scanning the hotspots around now let's do a short web server project on controlling the led on the raspberry pi pico w remotely Let's do it. So for that, first, uh, I need. I have created a file here. So this is Pico W here, and you can see we have three files here. What I need to do is I need to open it right here on the Pico. Uh, maybe let's see. Let's open this computer. Download and go to Pico W. And the main file file. Remember, you need to put this as IN currently because I am in India. So, you need to put the country code here according to the country you live in, and everything else is same. So, I'll attach this uh, the three files in the description main secret pi and the index.html. You can download it from here. You need to do save as. Raspberry Pi Pico and save it as main.html. 
file yeah so it goes and to open second file which is secrets so this has my ssid and password you can put your ssid and password right here i'm just going to do that And I'll do it again. Save as in the Raspberry Pi Pico, and this will be secrets dot pi. And that is it. Now I need a third additional file, which you can see we have an index dot html. So this also we need here. Let's see if we can figure this out. Okay, let's do it. All files. Download got index dot html. And save it uh, with the same name in the Pico. The index dot html. Okay. So that's done. Now that we've saved all these files, again let's do this again. So save this as index dot html and overwrite this. Okay. So yeah, we have saved this file. Now when that is done. What we need to do is we need to open the main dot py in the Raspberry Pi Pico, and we need to run the script. Okay, we're running it right now. Okay, so you can see it's connected, and we have the IP here. You need to copy this IP, go to your browser, and. Paste it right here, and you can see we have the complete dashboard, which shows on and off. So as soon as I press the on, the Raspberry Pi on the Raspberry Pi Pico, it should show as on. Let me see. Okay, name LED isn't defined in the main file. Let me check what's the error. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So here you can see we have the LED in this function, which we cannot uh, change. So here you can see we have the LED in the function which cannot be accessed outside. So I'm giving it a name global LED. I'm saving it again in the Pico, and then maybe running it. Let me see if we can do this. Okay, I need to close everything and start again. Okay. Throwing an error, so I'll just remove this here. Press the boot cell button. Touch it again. And then drag and drop the U F two file in the Pico. Go back to the Tony ID. Stop this. Whatever it is. Again, go to open Raspberry Pi Pico main dot pi, and let's run the file. So it's waiting for connection now. Let me see if it works. Hopefully it does. Okay, it shows Wi-Fi connection failed. Wi-Fi connection failed. Okay, let me connect to another hotspot. Okay. Uh, let me 
check it now if it works again the same thing okay so open up the Tony ID open up Raspberry Pi Pico main dot pi and try to connect to the network again okay so now we are connected let's check this here okay so now it's on and as soon as I press the off switch we have the off and then on and off so even if I connect this uh, Pico somewhere else remotely, I can switch on and off the LED here on the Pico W. So that's the advantage for this. And that's our web server project. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Make sure to hit the like button. We'll be making more such project videos like maybe a robot or a weather monitoring station with the Raspberry Pi Pico W. So stay safe, stay tuned and robot.